Back in 1969, a couple of computer scientists here at Bell Labs started to develop some programs they needed for their own use. What Ken Thompson and Dennis Ritchie started developing then has evolved into the Unix operating system, which by now is widely used around the world. We were trying to make computing as simple as possible. In the late 1960s, Dennis Ritchie and I realized that the then current operating systems were much too complex. We attempted to reverse this trend by building a small, simple operating system on a mini computer. Well, what we wanted to preserve was not just a good programming environment in which to do programming, but a system around which a community could form, fellowship. We knew from experience that the essence of communal computing as supplied by remote access time-sharing systems is not just to type programs into a terminal instead of a key punch, but to encourage close communication. The Unix system started out as a two-man effort, and by now it's used all over Bell Labs. We have close to 20,000 computer terminals in this company, roughly one per employee, and most of them are used for communicating with Unix systems. One of the main reasons that the Unix system is popular around here is because it provides graceful facilities for decomposing complex computing tasks into simple subtasks. The Unix operating system is basically made up of three parts. The kernel, or operating system proper, is the part that manages the control of the machine and supervises scheduling of the various user programs. The shell, or which is the name we give to the command interpreter, looks after the communication between the user and the system itself. And the third part, which is actually the largest, is the various utility programs, which perform specific tasks like editing a file, or sorting a bunch of numbers, or uh, making a plot. Uh, in other words, all the other programs that are not provided directly as part of the operating system kernel.